Hey everyone, I've had a number of people ask me how I do my eye makeup. Honestly, I don't think I'm really all that great at it, but apparently people like how I do it. So I asked people if they wanted me to do a tutorial and they said yes. So here I am. Here is a tutorial on how I do my daily eye makeup. I need to be very clear. I am very much a amateur and this is just what I have learned to do, but I have found that eye makeup is one of my favorite things to do, and sometimes I go mild, sometimes I go wild. Today I'm just going to do kind of just like my standard everyday look. I have already put on foundation, um, less is more, and I also did my eyebrows. I'm not going to do any tutorials on either of those because it's just foundation and eyebrows, and I'm not good at doing eyebrows at all. So. You'll have to find someone else to help you out with that one. Um, your tools that I trade today are going to be a little bit of concealer. I use this CoverGirl True Blend Undercover stuff and a little sponge. Eyeliner. This is my NYX Professional Epic Liner. I'll put a link to this in the description. This stuff is amazing. It lasts several months. Um, and it's easy to use and People always told me uh, when I first came out that I should use a pencil eyeliner. And I was never able to get one of those to work. This stuff is amazing, so definitely try this out. You'll need mascara, whichever one you want. This is just the stuff I use. It's nothing really particularly special about it. It's just mascara. And you'll need some brushes. I use a few different ones. I use this one for going under my eyes here. Um, this one I'll do on my eyelid, um, or also use this one for your eyelid to be a little bit messier, and a little blending brush, so you don't have to spend much. I think this is maybe two, three dollars worth of brushes right here. I don't have fancy equipment. And some eyeshadow, whatever you want to use. I love this stuff, the Koki Arabian Nights. I mean, you can buy it at Rite Aid. I don't know if they actually still make it or not, but the palette is... You can see I've used it quite a bit. The palette is quite pretty. So I use this one for going under my eyes. And what I like to do is do a color and then dust a little bit of um, some metallic over that. So, Or sometimes I'll do the color and do the metallic around the sides. I tend to match my makeup to my clothing. So today we are probably going to go with a blue. So, But to get started, uh, first things first... We're going to do a little bit of the concealer. I have a mirror mounted right here because I wasn't sure how else to do this. I mean, again, I'm not a professional makeup YouTuber by any means. This is just for my friends that have asked me to see how I do it. So I just put a little bit, just a dab under each eye here. This is just going to kind of get rid of the bags under my eyes. And just going to just spread that out a little bit. On both sides, like under my eyelid, and then over the eye a little bit into the sides. So this makes it look a little bit less like I'm the mother of a three-year-old. I did forget one tool as well. Uh, you'll need an eyeshadow primer. These are just handy, especially if it's hot, a hotter day. Uh, makes it easier to get everything off. It makes things stick a little bit better. And just do the tiniest little dab of it. I am almost out, but... Just this tiny little dab and I just dab it on my eye and I just rub it in like this which there's probably a much better way that you should be doing this but again I do what I do so and the other eye and next we're gonna be doing my under eye so for that I'm going to grab this little this little brush here that has a little bit of an angle and I'm just going to dab a little bit on the tip here and just gonna draw with one smooth stroke under my eye. It just gives just the tiniest bit of highlighting. It's just subtle, but I like how it looks in the end. I just run run along my lower eyelid, and then sometimes I'll just add a little bit right here. The way that I do it, this is every day. No one gets their makeup perfect every day unless they're absolutely trying to do it like as if they do it for their job but i'm just doing it so i look presentable when i leave the house because i like how i look with makeup so we are going to go let's see i have two different blues on my dress um 
I think I'm, we're going to go with the lighter blue. Uh, the Genie on this one. I'm going to actually use this brush to get a little bit more, a little bit more control over what I'm doing. So, and I just start on the inner lid. And yeah, I have very hooded eyes, so your results may vary. And I just kind of just paint it on here. If you mess up a little bit, this comes in handy because it already has some concealer on it. So I just want to do that to just clean things up. Okay, I'm happy enough with how that turned out. It's not perfect, but again, I'm not looking for perfect. I'm just looking for, hey, I can leave the house today and, you know. So, and then, as I said, I like to do a little bit of a metallic over it. I tend to do just kind of this rose coldy color here. And I just tap a little tiny bit on my blending brush and I just lightly brush it on. And as I lightly brush it on, I also blend out a little of the blue onto the rest of my eye. This way I am kind of just smoothing out those rough edges that I left, like here you can see it's not, not too smooth and this is just kind of smoothing that out. I like how this makes it look, it's just that little bit of, you know, a little bit of metallic over top, so subtle but it works. Next up we have the NYX Epic Ink Liner. I love this stuff, it's amazing, it's so easy to use. So. The trick to eyeliner is, if you're like me, I have very shaky hands, so remember that you're looking for sisters, not twins. You're not going to do it perfect. It's perfectly normal to mess up and go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. You can always wipe it off and start again, so we'll see how I do this time. I tend to start small and then work my way up if I need to in case, I'm, in case I mess something up. So here goes. I start on the outside of the lid and I work in. I hold my lid ever so gently as I do it. And I do that sweeping motion so I get a nice smooth line to my inner lid and then back out. And then I'm just going to fill in the bottom here. like that and I'll do the other side. I always try not to blink when I'm doing this because if you blink it tends to go everywhere but it's hard to <laughs> be touching your eyes and not blink so if you do if you do blink it's not a big deal you can just add more eyeliner. And I like doing just a subtle little wing. You don't want to tug too hard like this because that's going to distort things. I do it just enough to make the skin just a little snug. And just draw a subtle wing. And with the top of the wing, I just start at the top and just work my way over in a straight line. And as you can see, I already made a little mess up. So we're going to fix that by... We're just going to go ahead and just beef up this, uh, this eyeliner a little bit. This is honestly how most of my days go. I try to start small. I try to start small, but I just kind of, I do this. So it always, it looks good in the end, but just know that I may look like I'm good, but I'm just winging it just like, I'm <laughs> winging it, get it? Just winging it just like everyone else. Make sure you get some nice straight lines. This crease here can be a little difficult. And I'm just going to sharpen up the end of this just a tiny bit.
and I found that it helps to kind of do a sweep down motion a little bit on the end on the side here to kind of go down and up into your eye and I will do the same on the other side and again it's probably not gonna look just like this but hey, who cares right there again you don't have to be perfect no one's gonna care if you're not perfect unless you're being judged on your makeup just don't worry about it too much if you mess up you just add a little bit more if you start needing to go back and forth too far and you start getting too big then yeah wipe it off and restart but it doesn't hurt to be a little bit heavier on the eyes I try to start light and then it always works its way up so then I just like to kind of even out make sure everything looks about the same on either side and then make sure that you have you going right along your lash line here because you will be able to see some skin otherwise and I'm pretty happy with that don't overthink it don't overdo it like you might be like oh well I could do a little bit better here a little bit better there honestly this isn't perfect I think it still looks great so you don't have to worry about perfection just whatever makes you happy we will close out with mascara again you want to brace your elbow you can't see my elbow down here but I just have it braced on my desk just gently you start at the bottom of the lash and pull up and then for the outer lashes just flip your arm around and do it that way you can do the bottom lashes if you want I usually do some people don't and with those I just like you use absolute lightest touch that you possibly can and just gently just tap them in pull because otherwise they can really start clumping I'm sure with a higher quality mascara it's a little bit easier but do the same thing where you flip it around and wham bam and then you're gonna do the other eye this entire routine if I'm not doing a tutorial only takes me a couple minutes I usually do my full makeup thing in you know between five and ten minutes depending on what I do I generally I don't always put on a foundation I did it for this video just so my skin is not too glistening under the camera don't overthink it that's easy that's the best advice I can give um, if you want to do a setting spray or setting powder be sure to do it before you put on your mascara otherwise especially with the spray you'll spray it on and then the mascara will get everywhere so I already kind of got down on my eyes a little bit but there you go quick and easy amateur eye makeup that anybody can do for very little money. Thank you for watching. I will catch you in the next video. Please remember to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, all that stuff. See ya.